Our next guest says the worst buys of the past few years, namely real estate, and stocks overall could prove to be the best investments if you look back a few years from now and you bought it this day. He also says investors might want to start thinking about some serious inflation issues. Joining us, veteran value investor David Dreamin, chairman and chief investment officer of Dreamin Value Management. Good to have you with us, sir. Nice being here, Aaron. So um, even though we're up with you know 50% from that March bottom and you see it around the world no matter where you look, I'm sorry, the Haynes bottom, uh, no matter where you look around the world, stocks have surged. Uh, do you still think if you look back at this time and you went into stocks specifically and real estate even more specifically, you'll be glad? I think so. I, I think uh, we're factoring in some pretty major inflation. I think the a report came out uh, uh, that there's something like uh, was it $21 trillion of, of uh, new debt that was put out. And uh, uh, the Treasury's been printing money 24-7 and it's been going on pretty much worldwide, and that's got to have its toll. Not now, but two, three, four years out, I think we're going to see inflation probably as bad as, say, the 77, 81 period when it was about 12% annually. So, And inflation is really very, very good for both stocks over and, and for real estate over time. So I think... The inflation, but 12-plus percent inflation, still good? I mean, that would seem that could well, be much worse than better. Well, it, it's, uh, it, it's not... Uh, actually, the, the markets stay up with uh, inflation, and even hyperinflation. Like the, uh, uh, with uh, in Brazil, the, uh, the the real is down to one billionth of its purchasing power in uh, uh, from 1945, and yet the the Brazilian market is about where it is relative to the S and P or the Dow. Hmm. So markets do go up, and it, it, it's a really good inflation hedge. Uh, the Fed says it has an exit strategy, uh, and a lot of it will be automatic. Well, I think there are 30,000 feet jumping without a parachute. <laughs> There's the, uh, the Fed has to wait until employment starts to come down, and that's probably employment still likely to go up through mid uh, next year. And um, I think they, uh, they're, they're, I, I don't see how they possibly could have a, a, an exit strategy at this point. So in your opinion, this is not a bear market rally? No, I, I think we... Um, we will see uh, the markets go down some. Uh, we certainly have our volatility, but all in all, I think we're we're in a market that will go much higher over the next uh, three to five years. Obama administration's handling of the economy. Give it a grade. Uh, maybe a B, <laughs> but the, I, I, I think they've uh, uh, helped uh, stem the real fear in, in financial stocks by uh, their actions and the and the stress test. And I think once the financial stocks started to take off, uh, the, the real fear that the, we'd have no financial institutions worldwide was gone. That was probably one of the mo most important factors. And then, of course, now we're starting to see the economy uh, still going down, but at a much slower rate. So in particular, what, what would you buy? When you say buy stocks, buy real estate, I mean, you get, can you get specific as names or, or no. countries or how would you do it? Well, uh, in this country, I'd uh, I'd buy um, or, or uh, others. I'd buy the uh, I'd buy uh, oil. I'd buy natural resources. So, and I'd buy the exploration and development. So I'd buy, say, an Apache, an Anadarko, mm -hmm. names that uh, uh, or uh, or a BHP as a major resource producer. And I, I think if uh, people are going to buy houses, uh, that's a great play in inflation because you, uh, you you have a you get about four to one. Uh, on the leverage, in a sense, uh, mm -hmm. on the on the house over time, and a lot of the fortunes made. Right, even in, if you put the twenty five percent down. Yeah. Even if you put the twenty five mm -hmm. percent down, which is high. You uh, you also like a couple of well, three big financials: PNC, Wells Fargo, J P Morgan. Yeah. Uh, I think they're survivors, and, uh, very definitely survivors. And uh, over time, we'll see some pretty good results. They, they're, they're starting to work through the worst of the bad debts. And it's, uh, there might be another year, pretty, or a year and a half of lackluster earnings. But we should see much higher earnings over time. And financial stocks do go up with inflation. All right. Thank you very much, David. Always a pleasure to see you. David Dreaman, the original contrarian investor.